Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome back to another mod day. And this is, uh, we're definitely running low on mods to showcase, so if any of you guys have any sort of talent in Blender or any sort of modeling software, please create some mods for this game, some mod packs, and upload them to modstashunturned.com. Uh, this is, I believe, the last available mod that I'm able to showcase, um, so we're definitely running low. But... Nonetheless, the mod that I am showcasing today is an awesome gore pack that adds some little dead zombies and broken arms and dead things for you to put down in your world. And I thought that this would look beautiful in a, well, I, I guess not really beautiful, that, that's probably not a good word, but uh, that will look fitting in a graveyard. So I made a graveyard in the dev test map. So as you can see here is the dev test map and I just kind of destroyed a house to build a graveyard which um, I, I made it like really overly detailed with all these different trees and stuff but um, and, and bushes and rubble and stuff. Uh, but anyway I figured a lot of these new items would fit very well. Now it doesn't add very much, I believe it adds, well actually we can look right now. So you go into the level tab and objects and I believe it is all in the small category and they all start with the word gore. Yeah, so we have uh, a, like an arm that you can put down on the ground, a dead guy, a dead head, um, a dead leg, or a pool of blood. And you can put all these down um, and I figured that they would fit very well if I if I were to put them in a graveyard. So to start off, I think we should start with the whole the whole guy, the whole dead guy, uh, and maybe we could put him back in the corner, dead in the bushes, like somebody attempted to hide him. You put it down, it spawns in the side for some weird reason, um, but it's all decomposed and brown and gross, as you can see. It's a dead little zombie or person, whatever you like to uh, to view it as and you can put it down in your environment. I'm going to put him right next to a gravestone like so. Rotate him just right and maybe tuck him away in the bushes a little bit. Maybe put him in the ground a little bit as he's been buried. There we go. So there we go. <laughs> if you're exploring the graveyard, you'll be walking through and uh, deep in the bushes you'll see a, uh, a dead guy. So anyway, that is the gore guy and you can also put down an arm as well looks like this just a little bit of an arm it has like a chunk taken out of it with the bone sticking out and uh, some uh, some some blood and stuff so I'll put that next to the dude as well like so very nice maybe you could put another one maybe over here drag it up a little bit anyway so that's the arm pretty cool and then the leg kinda looks the same except this one um, actually has like pants on it Anyway, so same thing, it's a pants leg, except um, it's a bit thicker, so it's like a leg. Um, and I will put this also up here as well, drag it in, maybe rotate a little bit, and uh, maybe we'll put another one down by this guy, because he's wearing the same kind of pants. There we go, put it like that. There we go, big pile of dead things in there. Um, and then the head is pretty cool, it's like the same model as this guy's head, except it's got like a little bit of the spine sticking out, so as you can see, it's like there's the spine. Um, all right, let me rotate it upwards. Maybe we can make it to where like the head's sticking out. There we go. So like his face is still there, but he's got like the, the spine there. It's pretty pretty funny. But um, so rotate it like this. If you'd like, you could probably, especially in a graveyard instance, kind of just make it to where the head's sticking out a little bit. Maybe rotate it like this. That could be uh, pretty pretty funny. And then also with the arm as well, you could copy one of those to like do that, rotate it, make it look like he's reaching out. He's like, help me. Anyway, and maybe we could put a pool of blood there as well. And this is what the blood looks like. For some reason, the models is all messed up with, as with like all the mod packs, uh, but it's as simple as holding control to snap it every 15 degrees and then uh, rotating it to make sure it's perfectly flat. And then you can put it down on the ground like so. And then this will go as a pool of blood right there. Anyway, that's a pool of blood. Pretty cool. Looks like a guy just is reaching his way out. Didn't quite make it out to join the zombie horde. And with that, there's pretty much everything. Uh, I, I'm going to find another instance where I can put down the head. Maybe lie it down on the ground somewhere. Um, but anyway, 
I mean, those are all the things that are in this gore pack. It's pretty cool. It is made by Wayne Name Yo. And if you guys would like to download it, it will be in the description down below. You just got to click the big download button in the top right and drag the folder into your unturned folder. And it should automatically put it into your game and you can be begin placing down all of these cool items. But anyway, that was the Gore Pack version 1.0. You can use it to fancify your graveyards or just maybe put some dead things inside your apocalypse maps. Um, but anyway, that is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like Big Boom is out.